Hi everyone, my name is Emma Carmen and I will be doing an Instagram live for the next month or so with all of the coaches throughout the NCATA. First up today from Trine University, we will have Katie Horseman. Yesterday we had our first episode and now we are on to our second person. Katie is a recent graduate of Baylor University and she just graduated in 2009. She was named the head coach of Trine in the summer of 2019 and she graduated with a degree in the Bachelor of Administration with a focus on management. Hi, Katie. How are you today? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. So going off of Katie's introduction, she has served in multiple coaching roles during her collegiate days. Um, Katie, thank you so much for coming in today. We're just going to start off with, can you just tell us a little bit about Trine, where exactly it's located, and maybe some of your academic strengths that you have at your university? Yeah, absolutely. So we're located in Angola, Indiana, which is northern Indiana. So we're like 20 minutes from the Michigan border, 20 minutes from the Ohio border. So really just kind of in that nook there. <laughs> um, so we are a STEM school. So our strongest academic programs are definitely engineering for sure. Um, but then also um, we have really strong biology programs, pre-med, um, PT, physician's assistant. We have some direct entry programs to where you can immediately go from um, – from your undergrad directly into the grad school program. You don't have to take the GRE. You don't have to reapply. You can just immediately go straight in. Um, but if you're not interested in, you know, science, math, all that fun stuff, we also have a really great business program. We have a really strong education program. We have a hundred percent placement rate for our education program for the last six years. Um, so we also have an awesome criminal justice program. So we have a bunch of different options. You're not limited to just science and math, even though that is our strongest point. That's great. So it sounds academically strong. But on the athletic side of things, what are your, some of your strengths of your program? I know you guys are just getting started at Trine, but just from what you've um, experienced as a head coach there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So I am so excited about this inaugural roster. They are just so excited. They're so ready to go. I can already tell that the dedication and ambition is there. So I'm just really excited to see what we accomplish for this first year because I know the inaugural roster is just ready to go. So how did you get involved with acrobatics and tumbling? I was telling everyone that you graduated from Baylor in 2019, mm -hmm. but how did you come across the sport and get involved? You know, funny enough, I love telling this story. My coach originally came to me and was like, I think you should look at acrobatics and tumbling. And I said, no, I want to cheer in college. I was just so certain because that was just my plan for so long um, that I just wasn't even considering it. Um, but then one of my teammates um, from cheer, she went and did acrobatics and tumbling. So I went to go watch a meet just to go support her. And I was like, holy cow, this is it. I love this. I saw the meet. I fell in love with it. And I immediately reached out to Baylor after that. So I definitely encourage everyone to, you know, get out there, do the research. You're either going to figure out that acrobatics and tumbling is what you love and what you really want to do. Or if you find, do the research and you decide it's not for you, hey, at least now you know. So I definitely encourage everyone to do the research, figure out if it's for you, because it's a really special opportunity. So what experiences did you learn at Baylor throughout those four years that you want to teach your athletes and especially with an inaugural roster? What do you want to teach all of those girls? Oh my goodness. I learned so much at Baylor. It was such an amazing experience. Um, but my biggest takeaway was really just communication. Um, I've learned how important it is to go up and talk to somebody and, you know, whether that's positive reinforcement and encouraging them, or also just having the difficult conversations, um, just being willing to go and talk directly to people. Um, I think it's so important to keep a team cohesive, um, being able to be brave enough to go tell somebody um, if they hurt your feelings. And I think it's just the best way to have a positive culture is just direct communication. So last but not least, what are your hopes for the future of the program, um, even at Trine, or maybe even just and the NCATA obviously been coming across making history with now becoming an NCAA emerging sport. But what are your hopes for your program in the future? Um, so this upcoming year, I definitely want another large recruiting class. So I recruited 21 for this past year, and I want 15 to 20 for this upcoming class because I really want us to get to that uh, full roster as quickly as possible. Um, 
And I really, just most importantly, I want us to have a really strong, positive culture. I believe that if the discipline is there, if the communication is there, the winning will happen organically. So most importantly, for this next few years, I want us to build a really, really strong foundation so we can grow. Um, and then as a whole, I would love to see um, just more schools ads where we can, you know, get to that NCAA championship sport where we can divide up, you know, D1, D2 and D3 nationals. Um, so that's my hope for the sport. Not Great. too long from here. Yes. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Coach Katie, and thank you to everyone for tuning in to our second episode of Conversations with Coaches. We will be continuing a third episode later on this afternoon at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard T Time with Ellen Barker from Adrian College. I'm Emma Carmen, and we will be doing one to two conversations a day with coaches from the NCATA. Remember, if you can't tune in live, all of these will be on our Instagram TV. So thank you so much, Katie. Have a great day. Thanks for having me. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.